As Governor Walz continues his push for clean energy, a recent letter he sent to President Biden promoting biofuels has bipartisan support. This comes as biofuel-related legislation goes into committee at the state capitol this week. Holly Bernstein has more. Governor Tim Walz has sent a letter to President Biden urging him to support biofuels and reverse the previous administration's support for oil refinery emissions exemptions. In the letter, Walz asks Biden to issue an executive order enforcing the Clean Air Act by replacing the use of aromatics and gasoline with cleaner alternatives. He further asked the president to adopt new renewable fuel standard regulations to prevent billion dollar companies from competing with the biofuels industry. And additionally, he encouraged Biden to support Senator Klobuchar's efforts to create a renewable fuel infrastructure grant program to establish underground storage tank regulations. He says the plan would make way for higher biofuel blends. The letter has received bipartisan support from state lawmakers. We have a great uh, ethanol production in, in, in my district. Um, I know that there is a push for uh, E15 mandate, so actually mandating 15% ethanol. Um, we have a, a big issue in Minnesota where the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency is not authorizing the ethanol producers in Minnesota to add production at a very fast rate. So uh, we have a, a facility in my district that's asked for uh, the ability to add capacity and it's been a long time coming. This week, the Senate Agriculture Committee will hear a bill that would increase the minimum biofuel content in gasoline to 15%. Senator Nick Friend says there are other pushes towards clean energy as well. I'm glad to support the biofuels mandate that would allow our farmers to continue producing corn and soybeans that to be, would be blended into fuel. This would support the price of those crops and also reduce emissions, something most people like. In Mankato, Holly Bernstein, KEYC News Now.